we drove by this house. You could tell it was a woman that lived in there because her entire closet was still full of all her clothes. Instantly, my mind went into, did she survive the storm? Was she in there? Is she okay? That was the first moment that I genuinely really took in what we were doing and where we were at. It's been almost eight months since Hurricane Ian made landfall in Florida, but walk down the street in Fort Myers, San Carlos Island, and you might think the storm just hit last week. With their homes and businesses destroyed beyond repair, some residents of this seaside town have resorted to living on the beach. With the support of Matthew 25 Ministries and using health, hygiene, and cleaning supplies donated by P&G, a group of dedicated volunteers has promised to help rebuild this tight-knit community for as long as it takes. You don't think about the things that you need until they're gone. The worst part was not having connectivity, to just be able to get a text out to our kids. Once we got out, we opened the door for our church to come in and get anything that they needed. And then the community found out we were open, and they came, and they kept coming. We just started making connections. I met Irina, and her and I have this kindred heart that we just want to help. And I just kept coming, and I haven't left. I've been here every day since. Once we were connected with Matthew 25, they said their supplier was Procter & Gamble, which is a huge blessing because without them, we wouldn't be able to help near as many people as we have been helping. In the very beginning, it's kind of like naked and afraid. You think food, water, shelter, you wanna make sure that people are able to survive after surviving. We started putting in orders based on the needs that they had and the supplies that we were getting were exactly what we needed. To begin with, we were asking for things like bug repellent, disinfectant, bleach, Mr. Clean wipe and Dawn wipes. Once we moved past the sanitizing and the disinfecting stage, we then moved into the stage we're in now, which is Bounty and Charmin diapers for the kids. And that's a huge help for them because they're living in things like tents and RVs. so much to do here. There's so much help that's needed still. The distribution centers and the supplies that are coming in, they're helping so much with the rebuilding process. PNG has basically given us a life source for people. Currently, we're in the stage where we're trying to help the people on the beach and the people who were hit the hardest save as much money as possible so that they can spend that money on rebuilding. If we can give them just a pack of diapers or just a roll of paper towels or a roll of toilet paper, that saves them enough money to start working towards those construction costs. And so we want to be there for the long term. Procter & Gamble wants to be there for the long term to help these people eventually get back to where they need to be. I believe in the your success is my success mentality. If the people that you're serving are successful, then you have succeeded. The relationships that I've built here feels like family. You do this work voluntarily for no income. To see the progress and to know that you played a role in helping something come back to life, it's been the greatest work of my life.